Hey cousins, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moni if you are new here. And today we're gonna be getting into this Kobe Bryant drama regarding his parent and his wife, Vanessa Bryant. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video and leave a comment if you will. Let's get into it. So this week people are really upset at Kobe Bryant's parents, but Kobe didn't leave his parents any of that $600 million. He left his money to his wife and his children, rightfully so, but he did not leave any money to his parents. This week, people are upset because his parents are once again trying to auction off his property. His father had a replica of the 2000 championship ring that Kobe won. Kobe actually had one made for him. And that's crazy. You pass away worth over 600 million and you leave nothing to your parents. That can that can seem a little shady, but I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know 100% what the story was, but I remember seeing something about Kobe Bryant and his family not being on the best of terms so it's a little dicey that is what they are trying to sell right now the bid is up to ninety four thousand, and people are mad but i just wonder why people are always so angry at kobe's parents yet not holding that same animosity for vanessa bryant's mother who literally has gone back and tried to sue Vanessa Bryant since kobe has passed away for babysitting her very but, own see i ain't know that yeah, I know that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people didn't know that. So how can they hold any type of animosity or have any feelings about Vanessa Bryant's mother? That's crazy if that is true, that you're, you sued your, your daughter who's going through, who's grieving the loss of her daughter and her husband. That's nasty. That's nasty work. On grandchildren. Sounds like to me, Kobe let his mother-in-law live in his houses for free, took her at all kinds of special events that he did not even take his own mother or father that were responsible for him to become the man, the champion that he became. Instead, he treated Vanessa's mother that way. And when Kobe passed away, she turned around and sued her own daughter for $5 million, a house, and a damn Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. Yet people have all this indictment for Kobe's parents who weren't left anything at all. Vanessa that's so nasty and bottom of the barrel. Money make people do a lot of evil, evil, evil things. Like, nasty. So Bryant has settled with her mother. No one knows the terms of the settlement, but more than likely she has given her mother some cash money, you know, or property. We're here, Kobe's parents, you know, only have their son's legacy um, mm -hmm. to really depend on. So, you know, like Gilbert Arena says and other people are saying, if these people need the money and Vanessa Bryant is not going to step up and help, her husband's family, you know, even at the funeral, did not have these people speak on behalf of their son, of their son. I, I have mixed feelings. I have so, I have mixed feelings on this. Then guess what? You have to have your son in your heart and survive in this world the best way you can. You raised him. He was your son. You don't need that ring to remember your baby. Have a great day. Like I said, I have mixed feelings on this because it's like, it's alleged that Kobe and his parents didn't have the best relationship, right? Especially the mom. The mom is is known for having sold his high school um, things, his high school memorabilia previously to get money. And, and this was when he was alive. So, and then unfortunately he passed away, which was unexpected. Like parents don't expect their kids to outlive them, right? Um, and children, they don't expect to pass away before their parents. So I don't want to say, I want to say like, he probably didn't have his affairs in order, but then again, you're Kobe Bryant, you're worth $600 million. Like, why wouldn't you have your affairs in order the way that, that you wanted them to be if they didn't include your parents? Like he probably had his affairs in order and they are what they are. And his parents just weren't a part of it. And now it's a problem because his his parents are selling some some more of his items that they had. And it's just like, if he didn't have a good relationship with his family, I understand why he didn't leave anything to them. Like it makes sense. And then on the other token, 
I see, like, why wouldn't you leave anything to them? So it's like, I see both sides. So it's like, like, what can you do? In my opinion, if I was Vanessa Bryant, I would have given them something unless my husband said, no, don't give them anything. Then it's like, what do you do? You, She's honoring her husband's wishes. We don't know what his last wishes was. We don't know what his will was. And that mama, she's scandalous as hell because who sues your their child who just lost a child and lost her husband? Like they're playing a nasty game. He left his, his estate to his wife. And it's just nothing that you can do. At the end of the day, if you're hurting for money, then by all means, you're just going to have to sell his items. And it's what it is that the mother is doing at this point. At the end of the day, people can have their opinions. People can say what they want to say. But at the end of the day, you got to live. and You got to be able to survive. So if it means selling a replica ring and, it was, and it's not going to hurt you in the end, then do what it is that you got to do. But let me know you guys' opinion. Let me know what you think. Like, are the parents wrong? Is Vanessa wrong? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Later.